So a free kick to Ireland then, just inside their own half of the field. Kevin Moran to take it. Right foot hits it long towards the left side of the English penalty area. Stapleton surrounded by two white shirts. Galvin gets the ball, looking for Aldridge. England defence in a mess. John Aldridge going for the high ball, trying to look it down for help. Goal! Ireland have scored! James, what are you doing? This is tunnel vision. The football season may be finished, but it's all kicking off on tunnel vision. My name is James Carew. My name is Taylor Gill, and on this edition of Tunnel Vision, we are visiting a site that is pitch perfect. Of the 24 sites on the Tideway project to clean up the River Thames, this one, tucked away in a corner of West London, has its own curiosities, combining archaeology, a sporting upgrade, and as ever, intriguing engineering. Located opposite Craven Cottage, the home of Fulham FC, our site at Barn Elms is one of the greenest on the Tideway project, nestled among 100 acres of wetland and more than a dozen sports pitches. The centre also includes courts and specialist facilities for everything from archery to athletics. And after the London Olympics and as part of the game's legacy, 1,000 tonnes of sand was transported from the beach volleyball venue in Horse Guards Parade to Barn Elms so that the sport would have a permanent home in the capital. Our work here will intersect the West Putney Storm Relief Combined Sewer Overflow, or CSO, and divert it into the main super sewer. Tell us why, Taylor. Well, at this site, 35,000 tonnes of untreated sewage spills into the River Thames every year. So stopping that is vital to the health of this river. This is done with a 213 metre long connection tunnel. I know you need the workout, but why are we outside a gym, Jim? What are you trying to say, Taylor? Before we could get access to the CSO, it required the old changing rooms here at the Barn M Sports Centre to be removed. But in their place, we built a brand new sports facility for the local community. And once it was handed back to the London Borough of Wandsworth, Tideway was able to begin its work on its CSO site in the far corner of these playing fields. Should we go and take a look? A race here. The team here has created a 34 metre deep shaft and a connection tunnel. But unlike the tunnel boring machines, the TBMs, used to create the main super sewer, here the team has used a pipe jacking machine. James, what's the difference? These machines are about three metres in diameter. It's an open face machine with an excavator arm and uses jacks at the back to push forward. Well that is how we're building for the future, but before we go on site, let's take a trip back in time. As part of our work to build a super sewer, before we could begin at Barn Elms, a team of archaeologists came on site in the hope of unearthing some prehistoric discoveries. Experts from the Museum of London Archaeology had a keen interest in this area of the capital because this part of London hasn't had much excavation in recent times, so there was the potential for some fascinating finds. Here at Barn Elms we've got the remains of an Iron Age settlement, which is mostly things like uh, post holes where the roundhouses used to be, um, and they've robbed out the posts. Um, pits that they threw their rubbish away into um, and also ditches that demarcated the actual boundary of the settlement. In London generally, like, because it's been inhabited for 2,000 years or more, um, it's actually not that uncommon to find a lot of archaeology on London construction sites. So things like the pottery, any flint working we've got or metal working, um, that then goes back to our office where it's looked at by our specialists um, after being cleaned up by our finds processing team. In archaeological terms, prehistoric is anything before the Roman period in Britain. Um, so that's anything before 40 AD. Um, we're specifically looking at the Iron Age, which is 800 BC to 40 AD, so immediately before the Roman period. And then obviously the prehistoric period goes tens of thousands of years back all the way into the Ice Ages. Finds-wise, we've had some really, really exquisitely decorated Iron Age pottery um, with sort of swirls and sort of triangles with um, sort of dotted patterns and then not dotted patterns. It's, it's really beautiful stuff and it's not the sort of stuff that you often get from Iron Age sites, particularly again Iron Age sites in London because there's not a lot of them. Um, so that was really good. From digging into the past to a different type of digging, let's meet the team at Barn Elms and find out about their work on the Tideway project. Chris, we're here at Barn Elms, but we're surrounded by trees. I can't hear any cars. Are we definitely in London? 
Yeah, we're still in London, uh, southwest London, just south of the River Thames. Uh, we're surrounded by the Thames River on one side, we've got Beverly Brook just behind me and uh, the Wetland Centre to the north. Could you explain why Tideway is here at Barn Elms? What's the problem we're solving here? So, the, like a lot of the sites on Barn Elms, Tideway's intercepting some of the biggest CSOs which overflow sewage straight into the River Thames. At Barn Elms, we're intercepting the uh, West Putney CSO, um, and that's operating at around 1.2 cubic metres of sewage every second when the sewer is operating at full capacity. And once Tideway is operational here, that will be reduced to nothing while the tunnel's in operation. It's amazing and it's a beautiful day we've got here. What's it like to work in such a green place like this? Yeah, it's really nice, uh, away from the hustle and bustle, but the site comes with some different challenges, particularly around wildlife and, uh, and access to the site. One of our closest neighbours is the London Wetland Centre. When we first mobilised the site, they were really interested in the work that we were going to be doing and how much noise we were going to be creating. So in consultation with them, we, we work really hard to try and minimise our noise disruption and the light spill comes out from the site. The, uh, the Barn Elm Sports Centre, the, the sort of open green space, operates as a, a, as a sort of runway for the bird flight corridor for the birds going in to eat and, and roost in the wetland centre. So Tideway is building a 213 metre long pipe from the main site here to the super sewer underneath the river. To create the other tunnels on the project, we're using TBMs, but that's not what we're doing here. How have they built this uh, 213 metre pipe? Yeah, similar process with uh, in that there is a TBM, so that there's a, a shield to protect people within it uh, from the unsupported ground. The shield is essentially a, a can with an excavator arm in, and unlike the tunnel, the main tunnel in the west, it's got an open face, so you can see the clay as we advance. The clay is excavated from the face, it then travels up a conveyor and into a skip. The skip's then removed to the bottom of the shaft and, and out of the shaft. And then that allows the, the machine to advance forward using a series of jacks in the, in the back of the machine. It pushes off a, a pipe, a 2.2 metre internal diameter reinforced concrete pipe. Then what happens is uh, the pipe string itself is pushed up behind the machine and into the, into the back of the machine using a series of rams in the bottom of the shaft. And, and that's the key difference between the main tunnel and the pipe jack. That's all the engineering that's going on here. But what will this site look like once we're finished? We're in the context of lots of green space. Presumably, we're going to re-green this area. When it's finished, the, the whole site will be regraded to be back in keeping with what it was originally. The 800 metre access road uh, will be finished with a surface of what you call grasscrete, it's a, a product called truck pave. There'll be two very small areas of hard standing that'll, that'll be left for, for maintenance purposes. And then the kiosk itself has got a, a brown roof, so we're just in the process of planting that. Marius, you're one of the many apprentices on the Tideway project. You're a project manager apprentice. What does that involve? So in our role, we are actually conducting assurance activities on behalf of the client. That involves health and safety checks, quality checks, and in my situation, I'm also involved in the project controls teams. Okay, and when we were on site, we saw the kiosk. Can you tell us about the roof and what some of the activities to make this site blend back into the natural area? Uh, roof is one of our elements that we're going to leave be behind as a legacy and I will say uh, this is actually our first brown roof constructed on west side. So the kiosk is actually casted inside, so it's our pride and is actually done in a way that we will we'll blend totally uh, with the nature yeah. to surround it. So we're surrounded by football pitches, trees, the natural environment, that must be a great place to work. I mean, once you, you come in, you, can, you can't hear any noise uh, from traffic. Yeah. You feel totally relaxed. You come with uh, joy to work. Okay, and how many people are working on this side? Usually on this side, we have an average of 30 people okay. a day. Uh, on busiest day, we, we are even more. What's the atmosphere like here? Um, it's all welcoming as also one of the things on Tideways, the diversity and inclusion. Uh, so we are putting a big emphasis on, uh, on this aspect. Uh, do you ever get out on the football pitches on your lunch break? Um, no, not that much, okay. unfortunately. <laughs> Marius, who's going to win the Euros? Um, in my humble opinion, I think it's time for England to win it. Caught a tear. <laughs> <laughs>
That's it for this episode of Tunnel Vision. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, hit like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you want to see in future shows. Join us next time on Tunnel Vision. That was all right, wasn't it? It was perfect. Perfect location, perfect weather. Yeah. You looking forward to the Euros? Ah, Taylor, you know Ireland didn't qualify. Ah, sorry, so you're supporting England then? Uh...